Um, so yeah, our, our piece is called Cheer to Know. Um, it's a piece that we've, we've kind of workshopped uh, collectively over the last few weeks. And um, we picked uh, themes of uh, gender and sexuality and these are what we were kind of asking ourselves questions around and what we were trying to develop a piece around. Um, so this is our whole cast. I would like to introduce you to Neil, um, who's our main character in this piece. You're going to see just a little extract from uh, Neil's life experience. And uh, as in the other pieces we've seen this evening, we just want you to think about the social context um, that she's trying to maneuver under and live under, um, and to think about uh, her perspective of what motivates her, what, what kind of choices, what kind of actions is she trying to take. Um, so I'll hand it over now. Neil Van Oshin and the land of Chairman O. And so it happened on a misty summer's morning. As John and Oshin and the Fiena were out hunting on the shores of Loch Lena, they saw coming towards them a maiden. She was exceedingly beautiful. She rode on a snow-white steed, and she wore the garb of a queen. On her head was a crown of gold, and a dark brown mantle of silk set with stars of red gold fell from her and trailed the ground behind her. Her horse's hooves were covered with silver shoes, and on his forehead was the crest of gold. When she came towards them, she said, From a very long way I have traveled, and now at last I have found you, young son of Pool. And John replied, What is your land and your race, maiden, and what is it that you seek from me? I am Neve of the Golden Hair, she replied. I am the daughter of the king of the land of youth, and that which I seek from you is the love of your son, Oshin. And then she turned to Oshin, and she looked at him, and she spoke to him in a voice of one who had never asked for anything, but it had been granted to her. Will you come with me, Oshin, to my father's land? And Oshin replied, I that I will, fair maiden, and to the ends of the earth. For the fairy spell had been so wrought upon his heart, he cared no more for any earthly thing but to have the love of me of the golden hair. <laughs> Yeah, oh god, the girls are all, can't wait. 
wait for tonight, yeah, Captain Morgan, bro. <laughs> that night club of yours is legend, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, talk to you later, babe. You too. <laughs> Morning, Jesus. Morning, Jesus. Morning, Eve. How are you doing? Oh, Jesus, don't talk to me. Rough all weekend? Oh, I have a head on me like a battered arse. <laughs> yeah, have we? On the Monday morning? Yeah, we do, we do. What are you just talking about? Look, what's she? I Ha! 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 Do you know how hard I have to struggle out there to get in a crumb? Jesus, my life, I went from five in the morning with Alan Fackers at 50, pretend to be young lads at 20. <laughs> Just to keep the business going. I know times are tough, right? But like, I'm going back to college. You said after six months, we look at me getting a raise. When, when sales are brilliant in the office, I, it, it's increased by about 12 percent. Which is you're deadly on the telephone. You're deadly on the telephone, but you're not making enough. I mean, it's out there is where the money is made. Dealing with the customer, shaking it up, giving them socks, you know? That's how you do it. So look, you're lucky to have a job. I'm lucky to have a job. Only that I'm out for all hours to work on my back side. I'm not coming in here. Oh, Sheena, I really, really need the money. Is there, is there any extra hours or anything that you can do? Nothing here, but there is ah, it's not. You know, like promotion out with the garrets, you know, out in the nice one. That's the only place that there's anything. I can always have my bag now, to be honest. Oh, I know, I am. It's kind of like a an art form, isn't it? You know, <laughs> selling out there. The girls are like the stars of the show. What? <coughs> Them girls make a lot of money out there, you know, only for them to be nothing happening to you. No, nothing else. You want to try it? Look, there's a Captain Morgan's thing on tonight. Do you want to try that on a bit short on the ground? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, I'll try it tonight. Sure. What else? Oh, look at the girls sort out all that stuff. There's a dress code. Hi, MC! Hi, Oh, girls! Big night tonight, Captain Morgan's first one free, second one of fire. Oh, okay. Now Great. she wants us there on time. When Veronica says jump, what do we say? How high? How high, Veronica? <laughs> yes, exactly. So, oh, Neve is going to join you tonight. Show her the ropes, get her in on the act. She wants more money. I told her there's no better way to make money than with the girls. Yeah, we need to be at tonight for tonight. Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, be there, meet Veronica, she's sort of out. Oh, girl, <laughs> show me what I like to see. Oh, all three in Sexy. Sexy. <laughs> it's not sexy. 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 It
broke my heart. You should have heard some of the things they were saying. I'm so humiliated. You are not out there like that. Well, there's no point. Maybe not that. Like that. <laughs> 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 you need to go out there and see what those guys are doing. It's horrific. Hey, look at you know these these legends as our biggest empire. You know what they say? Joe, we've got the same. How high? How high? Yeah. So like, if they wanted to wear this, that's what they expected to wear. Because how are you going to sell this stuff if you don't kind of look the part? You're giving away free drink. You don't need to wear that to give away free drink. Yes. But it would look a lot better when you're giving it away in that. I mean, you know, that's what they expect. That's what these guys want. That's what they're paying to see. And that's what we give them. And speaking of which, Actually, I have a few nice. very nice bob here for you. Look at that. For one night's work, eh? So, you want the job or not? <laughs> Go. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Operation Trust for You! And you can see me with a total fashion system. Oh, I'm doing so much! Make her own skirt. We're going to completely transform her hair. What are you going to do? I'm going to speak to this hair. This hair is telling me I'm a boring, dull person with no life. Don't look at me, boys. I just can't be bothered. I'm going to attack this hair with guy and with peroxide, and I'm going to get bounced off. Look at me. The very first thing to go is going to be these glasses. Oh, yes. Now, I'm looking How do you feel about Neve's situation? What are the challenges she's faced? What, are, what possibilities were open to her? What choices did she take? And, and how did the piece make you feel? Can you speak about that for a minute? 